to cross into the box. Well defended by Matt Preston. And Tyrone Bunn, it's on the end of it. And EC do take the lead. It was a cross into the box that the Bees didn't deal with. And inside the first six minutes, Tyrone Barnett has given Eastleigh the lead here at the Hive London. It's Barnett nil, Eastleigh won. A, a difficult start there, Xander. Yeah, it was a good ball from the boy on the right. Um, I think it, it was quite fortunate how it fell down for the um, striker. Um, he just put it away, unfortunately. It's not, not the best start from the boys, but look, it's... From Gook, from Gook now towards Hooper. Hooper inside the, inside the box. His shot just wide of the near post. Was it deflected? No, it's a goal kick. Better from Barnett, though they've used Hooper's pace there and behind, effectively, it was a good ball by Von Gook, but our new number 11 couldn't quite get his shot on target, and that's behind for a goal kick on this near side with, to JJ Hooper. Hooper's passed his man. He strikes at goal, and it's straight at the EC goalkeeper, but Hooper there did well. He had two on him, and he made the space for the shot, but unfortunately, his effort straight at the goalkeeper. Yeah, neat work from JJ there, done well. Some space to Matt Preston, and it's out to Alexander McQueen. Does well to keep it in, Mason Clark. They get past, does brilliantly there, Mason Clark. Mason Clark still, he's been tackled, but it's only as far as done. This is better from the beast. Von Gook, 25 yards from goal. It's back to Von Gook, deflected, yes. and it's in! Where's Von Gook? It's level for Barnett! It's at the aid of a deflection, but Barnett a level here. Just eight minutes before the break is EC1, Barnett 1. Yeah, Efron, good work there down the right. Um, made its way to Wes, and then he's played a nice one too with Efron. Look, it's took a deflection, but you don't shoot, you don't score, you know what I mean? So the boys will be buzzing with that. It's good to be back level. And you could just sense it, say, in the last five minutes. So Barnett, we're trying to get forward, but we're, they've been stood off, and we've had our shot goal there, Xander. And as you say, if you don't shoot, you don't score, and we're level. To the team and Mason Clark picks the ball up high up the field. Mason Clark into Hooper. Hooper, can he find Rich? Hooper on the turn. Brilliant save by the EC keeper. Corner for Barnett. This is much better from Beadle's side. They've won the ball back up high up the field and Hooper there did really well to turn. Fired at goal and forced a good save. James Dunn tries to break forward through and goal and Richards is in. Very early, he his shot straight at the goalkeeper. Big chance of the Bees inside the first couple of seconds, even of the first half. There was neat work by James Dunn. He found Richards, but his effort lacked a bit of power, Xander. Yeah, I think I think it was a bit off balance taking the shot. Um, good drive from Dunny, good little weighted ball, and then. Look and Eastley are forced back towards their defence, and his smart, smart taking on Richards. He's past Richards. It's a good ball into the area. Great defending by Preston to the edge of the box. It's been the back of the net. What a strike. EC do retake the lead. It's through Winter. The ball, it was well defended originally because a fantastic ball in from Smart. It came out as far as Winter, who on the half volley, Scott Loach, no chance. EC2, Barnett 1. Nugent's there to clear. And Hooper just can't get, get it under control. And that's a long ball back over the top. And... Can easily get through here. They're, they're in on goal. It's free. That's a really disappointing goal from a Barnet point of view. And it's Ben House with it, I think. It was just one long ball over the top. And it wasn't dealt with by the, by the Barnet back line. And Loach was stuck on his haunches. And House pokes it home. And easily do regain the lead here. Uh, regain the lead. They double their advantage. And they're 3-1 up. Xander, that's a real disappointing one for us to concede. Yeah, you can't, you can't really concede like that. I think, I don't know if Preston has got on the wrong side of the um, wrong side of the ball, and the players just use his body to get in front of him. With Baggy on this near side, he'll play in field to Jack Payne, and he'll just return Payne again. Payne with a delicate little ball over the top, and he's here in again here, and it's four. It's it's a, it's number four from their number four. It's Kevin Marley, uh, Kevin Miley. It was a neat move, a great ball over the top, and again, Scott Loach, no chance. It, it's slack defending, and easily find themselves 4-1 ahead here, Xander. Yeah, I think the, the confidence looks low now after the, the two goals has hit. It's quite hard, I think, and the um, pain the lad in midfield for them. He's played a, a lovely little ball over the top, but I think we've, I think we've appealed for offside and sort of gave up on it a little bit, and then unfortunately it's gone through Loach's legs, as you see a lot of strikes usually do. Keepers, but EC will come forward again here. 
with Baggy. Baggy past Duffus and he'll get to the byline. Baggy and he slips in a fifth for Eastley. Baggy skips past his man. And it's into the back of the net and that really, really is game over for the Bees now. It's, it's a real, real sucker punch goal and Baggy skips past Duffus and then he made no mistake with the finish. Uh, slack defending again here. It's shot goal. It's a great save by Scott Loach. Easily broke again in numbers and got themselves forward. It was Dan Smith, the substitute with the strike, and Loach, again, Zanders had to pull off a fantastic save there. Harry Taylor yeah, is forward to JJ Hooper. Hooper's beat the offside trap, has he? He puts it in the back of the net, but the flag is up.